usually when I go see a scary movie, I go with somebody, you know, because I like to have that person there with me so that I can grab onto them because I get freaked out during good scary movies. And so right now I'm not at home, you know, so I don't have my usual people to go with. And, you know, usually I go with my mom because she screams really loud and she'll deny it. But she'll scream really loud and make it super fun and then grab on each other. That's what I usually do. Or I go with my big friend and he uh, he gets more scared than I do, you know. So it's it's cool to have, you know, somebody scared with you and then we can talk about it. The whole point is you have somebody there to, to connect with and grab onto and then afterwards you can talk to and like go to your car and then, you know, drive home and not be too freaked out. Last night I saw this movie alone and that was a big mistake. So <laughs> I'm driving home last night and talking to my friend, I have to talk to somebody because I'm freaking out about it. And it's super late at night, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning, I'm driving home, and then, well, I'll just show you what happened. This is what happened. Yeah, so anyway, that movie was really scary last night. Oh man, let me put on a light because that was just freaky. Oh yeah, I'm finally getting home, I have to be quiet because it's scary in here. Yeah, so anyway, I was... Ah! Yeah, so I got really freaked out. My brother bought me this stupid thing yesterday, he put it in front of my door and... I, let me just say I scream louder than I've ever screamed, and that's saying something because I scream a bit. So thanks, bro. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Anyway, The Conjuring 2 is directed by James Wan yet again. His, you know, hundredth horror film. He is the master of horror right now. He is the best horror director I think that we've gotten. He's made some of the scariest movies that I've seen in my life. We got Insidious, we got Insidious 2, we got Saw, we got the first Conjuring, and now we got the second Conjuring. He is just upping his game more and more. He is showing us how great of a director he is, especially with this one. Uh, it stars Patrick Wilson along with Vera Farmiga, the, the, the people from the first one. You know, they are, the, they are the Warrens. So they're like the real life people that these movies are based on. They, they are the paranormal investigators that are, uh, they go to houses and they go to different places and try to help people go through things. And most of the time it ends up just being a hoax and they, they go to these houses and then they see just what's going on and then if something's happening then they use their faith and they use uh, you know God to, to, to get them out of there to get the demons out and then they help the families and that's what happens in the first Conjuring and that's what happens in this movie and the thing with this movie is it has a lot to live up to because the first movie was so beloved and it did so good and it was such a big surprise that this movie really had to be better, you know, than, than the first movie, I think, for people to be like, oh man, that was really good, because they have such high expectations, and that's what happens when people have high expectations, is they expect more. And I'll, I'm not sure if this movie is better than the first one, because the first one is so amazing, but I would say that it is at least on par with that first movie. This movie scared the crap out of me, like seriously, I was freaking out last night, during the movie, after the movie, I, I had a trouble sleeping. I, you know, I, I'm scared this morning, still checking under my bed. And, you know, this movie really got to me because it has unbelievable, like terrifying images, and the way that James Wan builds the suspense in this movie, it, it's like no other director. He he just he pulls you in and he makes you feel tension and then you, you hold on to yourself and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting and that's what I love about his direction is that he earns the scares because there's a lot of jump scares in this movie you know there's a lot of things that pop out of you but they're not stupid little oh here's a cat or here's a stupid pigeon that jumps out it's not some stupid thing that scares you he earns the scares by building the tension getting you freaked out making you ready something might freak you out for a second but then here's the actual scare and it's something that actually is scary like a demon nurse you know and and that's what's so good about him as a director is that he has such cool style and such cool way of putting shots together and when he builds a suspense he knows how to draw you in and know when to pop a scare at you you know and th 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 this I thought he did just as good with this movie as he's done in any scary movie he's by far my favorite horror director that there is one of my favorite directors honestly that the in general he's he's so good at what he does and he does a fantastic job here. The acting in this movie is fantastic. Patrick Wilson, Vera Farmiga, again, have chemistry off the charts. They do such a great job as these real people. And they are real characters. You know, even though they're based off of real characters, a lot of times characters that are based off of real people, they don't seem like actual real people. You know, they don't seem like, well, that's how they, they actually were. No, in this movie... And the first Conjuring, they seem like this is how these people actually were. These are the characters put to real life on film, you know. And 
they do such a good job of having chemistry, of having, of looking scared when they need to look scared, of being heroic when they need to be heroic, and just being real, down to earth people. And that's awesome to see in this movie. All the acting I thought was really good. There's a lot of kid acting in this thing because there's a lot of kid actors. And they all did a fantastic job. The one kid, uh, he has like a little stutter. I'm not sure if he has a real stutter in real life, but you know, I mean, he convinced me in this movie. He was like my favorite kid. He was so cute. And I mean, he's my child now. I adopted him. And, uh, you know, the main girl, she, she did a great job of being possessed and being scary. And I, I don't know how they did a lot of the effects on her. It was it like... Thing, things like this where, like, the voices is coming out of her. Like, she has to be doing some sort of voice, you know? And th th she did a great job of, of <laughs> seeming possessed, you know? Everybody did a good job in this movie. Acting, directing. The writing was, was really, really well done. I love um, the tone of the movie. The, the feel of the movie. The atmosphere. And the, the, the score is... It's it's so creepy. That's like my favorite thing that James Wan does besides his directing is he gets these these uh, uh, nah, these composers to make you just cradle up in a ball because they know when to to pull the strings and make it all creepy and I, it's it's so well done the music in here and. And really, this movie is just so, so effective at what it does. You know, it's a scary movie, and that's what it does. But it does more than that as well. The movie is really, the writers say that this movie is really a love story with the backdrop of a horror film. And it really is, because they really throw in some emotional moments and some real human moments in this thing. And it makes you step back and go, wow, this is, like, not just a scary movie. This is, like, a good movie. This is, like, an actual good movie that is also a horror movie, you know? And that's awesome to see because so many horror movies, especially today, especially this year, suck and they have no emotion at all. You don't care about the characters. The scares aren't effective. They aren't earned. You don't care about anything. In this movie, you care about the characters. You love everything, you know, you love <laughs> everybody, you know, you care for them. And you, you want them to, to get past this thing. And then when things don't go the way that you want them to, you're like, oh, no, like you actually care about it. And that's all because of the directing, all because of the writing. And, and, and I, I, I have nothing really too bad to say about this movie because I really, I, I really loved it. And I loved the first movie, you know, so it had a high standard. But I really thought that this movie got as close as it possibly could to that first movie. The only thing that I would say is that it is, it is a little bit long. I'm not sure how long the first Conjuring is. I kind of forgot. But they're both kind of long movies. And this movie is definitely long. And it uh, builds up a lot of suspense and a lot of... It takes its time to do it, you know? And it, But, you know, that's good because it, it builds the characters and it has real moments in there that you can relate to. And there, there there's some moments in this movie that... I mean, everything is building up for suspense. You know, that's like the whole point. You know, that's what makes it good. But there's moments where it's just lighthearted and funny and, and and emotional and you almost cry just because it's like oh how that was a nice moment you know and th that's so rare to see in a horror movie and i that's what the my favorite part about this movie was just those moments where it was you felt like good you know in a horror movie you know you felt like happy and th i can't remember the I've ever said that in a horror movie where you just feel happy you know like oh that was nice you know <laughs> so that's awesome to see. It is a little bit long. I, that, that's the only take back for me is that it's a little bit long and it feels a little bit repetitive in some parts. But you know, they're, it's based off a true story. So these are things that really happen and they're trying to portray it in the realest way that they could. And I thought they did a fantastic job. And I mean, I, th there's not too much that you really need to know about the movie. The Warrens, they're the real life people. They did the Amityville, they did the first Conjuring, and now they're in England. And this little girl has this possession, and then the Warrens come in and try to help her. I mean, I, you know, that, that's pretty much pretty much it in a nutshell. I, I don't want to spoil anything, but it's a pretty basic thing. And I, I mean, I guess for some people that, that you could take that as a, a negative as well. But for me, it's just like, you know, that's what these movies are. These are like true life stories of these paranormal people that had to help people. And, you know, the stories are going to seem pretty similar in some in a lot of ways, but... They do so many other things different, and the new the scares are new and inventive 
that it doesn't just feel like a retread of like you know the first one. It feels new and it feels fresh, and they add more moments in there that weren't in the first movie. And in a lot of ways, I feel like this movie is better than the first Conjuring, but it doesn't have the, the clap thing from the first movie that was like <laughs> will stick with you for the rest of your life. It doesn't have that kind of hook, but. This movie really blew me away. I was really freaked out the whole movie. I loved watching it. I, I honestly say that it's as good as The First Conjuring. Maybe not better, but I, I would say that it's on par with that movie. A little bit long, like I said. It might drag on for some people, but it is well worth seeing in a theater full of people uh, just getting freaked out together, laughing and, you know, getting scared and then leaving and, you know, bring a friend to this movie so that you don't freak out like I did, because <laughs> this movie's really scary, really creepy, it gets under your skin. But, you know, the, th the thing that this movie that I also wanted to mention is that it has what other horror movies don't have, and that's hope. This movie portrays hope and faith like no other movie, and that is my favorite, favorite part about this movie, is that it's not... It's not so doom and gloom all the time. Like I said, there's fun moments, there's funny moments, and there's actual hope, and that's the best part about the movie, because you leave scared, but you also leave knowing, I'm going to be okay, you know, B because they do such a good job of making you understand how they could possibly beat this demon, you know, and that's because of their faith, and I, no movie has ever done that like this movie, I don't think, and I, th that was awesome to see. I love seeing it. I really love this movie. Highly recommend it. Go see it. If you're into scary movies, this is the one to see. Probably the best movie, scary movie of the year to see. And uh, I'm going to go four and a half out of five for The Conjuring 2. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty good, man. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this and you want to see more reviews from a guy like me, Tom Waterloo, then please like and share this video. Leave a comment down below. And most importantly, subscribe. And I'll see you guys at the next one.